good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, January the 31st, 2018, and this is episode 2696. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome. Glad to have you with us for today's episode. Today's episode is titled, Today. Stay tuned. probably shared this with you before, but there are a number of passages of scripture that I uh, say out loud as uh, just kind of an acclamation uh, in the morning when I get up. And the very first one that I say is from Psalm 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Now, the translation I normally read from says, we will rejoice and be glad in it. And so I use the personal pronoun I when I quote this verse because it is a determination that I'm making first thing in the day. This is the day, January 31st, 2018. This is the day the Lord has made. And since I'm alive, I am will rejoice and I will be glad in it. But have you ever said, I I can't wait for this week to be over or this is the worst day ever. But Psalm 118 24 reminds us that each day we have is a day created by God. It's a day that we should rejoice in a day. We should be happy. It's not a day where we should be burdened by the stress of our lives, but a day that we should be praising and thanking God. Psalm 118 reminds us that every day we have is a gift, a day that we should treasure because we don't know if it will be our last. Every day is a day that we have an opportunity to share God's love and his joy with others. And what I find most interesting and disheartening is that many Christians are not filled with joy. Many Christians do not smile at a new day. They don't realize the mystery and the frailty of that day. Instead, too often, they take the gifts they have for granted and grumble about their work, too much paperwork, too much homework, an unhappy boss, our hours, and we tell people how bad our day is going. And yet the most afflicted Christians spoke of how joyful they were. Christians who were jailed, beaten, and killed because of their beliefs. In Acts chapter 2 and verse 28, we read, you have made me to made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. Shouldn't that be the attitude we have? Shouldn't we be grateful for being able to know God, to have a personal relationship with him, to have another day in his presence? Shouldn't we be grateful that we have another day to spend with our family and friends? In 1940, Dr. Virginia Connolly, age 27, braved opposition and criticism to become the first female physician in Abilene, Texas. A few months before her 100th birthday in 2012, the Texas Medical Association presented her with its Distinguished Service Award, Texas' highest physician honor. Between those two landmark events, Dr. Connolly was enthusiastically embraced a passion for spreading the gospel around the world through several medical mission trips while giving a life of service to God and to others. Dr. Connolly's pastor, Phil Christopher, said for her, every day is a gift. He recalled a letter in which she wrote, every tour, trip, effort, I wonder if this will be my last and ultimate Only God knows. 
and this is enough. Dr. Connolly said of her journey with Christ, as you live a life of faith, you're not looking for the results. I was just doing the things that God planted in my life and heart. So, God made today. Let's celebrate it and make the most of every opportunity to serve others in his name. Father, thank you so much for a new day, for new opportunities to serve you and to serve others, to be a blessing, to bring joy, to bring hope, to encourage, to challenge. Father, I thank you for your grace that is available for us today. Thank you for your Holy Spirit who indwells us and walks through life with us, giving us the strength and the courage we need to face whatever. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, and a little P.S. on that prayer. Thank you, Lord. This could be the day that you return for us again. Amen. That would be a blessing. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Turner at gmail.com. Thanks for listening, subscribing, sharing, following. You're a blessing. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.